We're hot. All right, so this is the higher dose uh, infrared sauna blanket. I'm gonna try it out today for the first time. We're gonna do two, three minutes of an EMF test. Um, and you can talk and ask questions or whatever you want through this, even if it's just funny. All right. <laughs> um, a lot of people have posted reviews of this thing, but I haven't seen anybody really, really test it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. It should be, I just turned it on. So it is on, it's only been on for like a minute and a half. We're just gonna take some preliminary EMF measurements. Um, in fact, maybe we should do a little bit of a control really quick. So let me make sure that there's no spikes in the room. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna unplug it from the wall. And so with the sauna off, We've got 0.3 milligauss in the room, hardly any electric fields, double checking it on the TF2. Same, remove this around a little bit, make sure that there's no hot spots in the floor from receptacles or anything else like that. Um, and it's all under 0.5. So you could say that the ambient in the room is 0.5 or below. I think that's a pretty safe assessment. Um, and the power supply is off, so there's nothing from that. We'll check electric fields really quick. There aren't really any electric fields because there's no power to this thing. Um, no ambience in the room. Everything's pretty much under 20 if you hold it still. And So that's our basis. That's good enough for a basis. We'll go ahead and plug the unit in. I haven't turned it on yet, but electric fields are present. Now we're gonna turn the unit on and we'll see what happens. So that's for me. So we'll go ahead and take the gigahertz and check electric fields. This is with the bag closed. We gotta open the bag. So that's where the power terminal comes in. Not terrible. Okay, good enough. That gives us our baseline. We'll check for, let me shut these off actually. We'll check for magnetic. Put the unit on in the closed position. And we get a little bit here where the termination is. Let's see what's underneath there. That's just where power supply comes in. That's pretty normal. But as long as it dissipates by the time it gets to your shins or whatever, that'd be a great sign. So this is looking good, looking good. The unit is on. Check the power supply really quick. We get a little bit there, but we come out a couple of inches and it dissipates. Good sign. So it does look like it's low magnetic field. It does not look like it's low electric field. Um, there might be a spike here or there. It could just be me moving it. Nothing alarming. So let's open the bag up and see if it changes when you get in it. minutes the camera's been running but it feels like it's warm inside already like it's getting warm we're at uh, four minutes in okay that's not unreasonable so we'll do the same thing with the bag open magnetic looks great under a half milligauss just there at the termination. Dissipates by the time it gets to the ankle. Shins, looks excellent. Double check that here, triple check it here. Same, this is a nano Tesla, this is a milligauss. Looks good to me. Let me check electric fields really quick. 
So the sauna definitely does not have electric fields mitigated. So it's low magnetic, but not low, ele low electric, it is not. For sure. So let's see what that translates into for our body voltage test. And if we go ahead and grab this with me sitting inside, that's pretty high. We've got 18, 0.3 volts, which is 18,000 millivolts. Um, let's do a confirmation there. Close enough. What do we have now? Uh, 29, yeah. 30. 30,000 or 30. Let's turn it off. What do we have now? 80. 80? You want to unplug it from the wall, yeah. if you can. Sorry. Oh, you're good. This is one of those things that's really hard to do. What do we have now? 0.7. Yeah. Okay. So electric fields aren't mitigated. Um, Plug it back in. Yeah. But most of the other, all the other portable saunas don't really have electric fields mitigated. So, but it is a little deceptive. Somebody says it's low EMF. It's not low MF which is magnetic fields, it's low EMF, right? There's a difference, stands for more than one thing. What do we got now? 83. That's with it off. What do we have now with it on? Third, oh, turn it off again. This is 82 point. Close enough. Yeah. So 80s. Now what do we get? Uh, 31. So it's 31 when it's operational. Yeah. The wooden saunas in the other room are all under one. Oh wow. So it's 30 times more electric fields. Okay. But that's the enemy with all the, the portable saunas because the heaters are so close to you, there's no distance. Oh, I got you. So unless it's you're right specifically there. mitigating electric fields, they're all high electric field. Okay. They all have body voltage. Those portable saunas, like um, one of these, I can't remember either, the Synergy or the Therisage has like 12, I think 12 volts of body voltage from the electric fields. Mm -hmm. One of the other ones is eight and then what do we get on the portable sauna today? Anywhere from six to 10? Yeah. Just depends. Right. So they're all in that range. All the portables kind of suffer from the same issues because you're, you're close to it. You don't have the wooden cabinet to be able to separate yourself from the electronics and all that. So, but anyway, time to get our sweat on. <laughs> time to do it. Okay. We can pause. <laughs> 